Work-life balance is a term that we all use, but to me, it really is just life balance. It's not work and life, it's your life. And at Centro, that's something that we believe in. I don't think it's an accident at all. I think Sean and the rest of Centro really do a good job on making sure that you have a balance between, you know, working all day, having fun, having extra things kind of to break it up a little bit. I mean, yoga twice a week in the middle of the workday is unbelievable. There's not too many companies that would offer something like that. They couldn't make it any easier for you to do something good for yourself in the middle of the day like that. When someone begins their job, their first day, no one says to themselves, I really want to hate my job. I want to not like what I do. I want to dislike my bosses. I want to go take a smoke break and, and gossip about the rest of the company. And, and I want to start looking for a job. Everyone starts going, I want to do a great job. I want to take pride in my work. I want to be happy with what I do. I want to like the people that I work with. I want to enjoy this. I want to do great work and have that pride. So why is it that in six months, most companies grind that idealism out of us and it's back to where we were before. So you get three weeks paid sabbatical on your fifth year at Centro. I'm actually leaving for mine on Monday, so I'm very excited about that. You can either travel to a new country that you've never traveled to before, you can volunteer for three weeks, you can divide that up and travel for a little bit and stay here in Chicago. You could just have a staycation, you know, whatever you want it to be, it's up to you to to live it up those three weeks. And so the concept of separating work and personal life is terrible. I, it, it, it bothers me and I know it bothers the team so much when people talk about that. So we spend a lot of time making sure it's better so that you have a balanced, integrated life in which you take pride both personally and professionally and then it's a, it feeds off of each other. I want to be here, you know, it's a difference when you get to a company and you have that honeymoon feeling of, oh, it's so perfect and it's wonderful, and then you start doing the work and meeting the people, and two weeks in, you're screaming on the inside. I don't have that problem here. I feel that I'm still on that honeymoon. It's still unbelievable how people treat you. Just those interactions make me feel like this is the company I want to be at. You know, we're dealing today in Generation Y. When you think about it that way, you've got to look at what is Gen Y, what do they look for? And it's a very different setting. The average uh, person in their 20s will stay in a job on average less than two years. Okay, well, we don't want that. We want them to stay here for a few years to be able to add the value. I mean, by the time we get them trained, we don't want them leaving here. And so you've got to think about what do they look like. And so you know, they want to feel appreciated. You know, they want to understand that they've got growth opportunities. They want to make sure they're having a lot of fun. They want to be friends with the folks that they work with. They want to have a good time inside and outside of work. And so we have to spend so much time thinking about their needs and making sure we build the right culture around it. And therefore, they'll stay, they'll be happy, they do great work. play hard, but we have a real good time doing it.